Here is an application for percent. Calculate the tax on the item sold. Anytime you buy anything, there will be some tax applicable to it. Tax may depend on the items you buy and the place from where you buy. Okay? Provinces have different taxes. Here in Ontario, we have 13% tax on most of the items. Okay? So I have taken 13% in my examples. Now here we have a table. So this table has cost of items. This cost is in dollars. Let's say the item A costs $45 and the tax rate is 13%. You need to calculate what is the tax amount. And then tax amount gets added to your original amount. And then you have to pay for both tax and the original amounts. Add them up and write amount after tax. So that is how you are going to complete this table, right? And in the process, learn how to calculate tax and how to find the amount of the item which you actually pay after tax. Okay? So let's do it. So it is like item is costing $45 and the tax rate is 13%. So what is the tax? Tax is 13% of 45 correct so tax is 13 percent of 13 percent is 13 over 100 we can write as 0 0.13 also of means times 45 right that is the tax you can use your calculator and figure it out so it is 13 times 45 divided by 100 you get 5. 85. So it is 5.85. So that is the tax which you pay on an item which costs $45 if the tax rate is 13%. Now amount after tax is 5.85 plus 45. If you add it, 45 plus 5 is $50 and 85 cents. So you have to pay $50 and 85 cents, right? Let me write dollars here. That is how you have to do. Sometimes what we do is, we first divide 13%, 13 by 100 and write it in decimals, right? So what we can do is, we can write this as 0 0.13, right? You've done the worksheet on converting percent into decimals? Yes, you have. If you haven't, go through that worksheet, okay? So you could also convert percent into decimals and use 0.13 instead of 13 over 100. Both are same, right? So 0 0.13 times 120 gives you the answer. So use calculator and say 0 0.13 times 120 equals to 15.6. 15.6, right? 15.60, okay? Because you're paying dollars and cents, okay? So that is 15.60 is the tax on an item which costed $120. So the total amount will be 120 plus 15.60. So we'll add 120 to this. It comes to 135.60. So we'll write it here. 135.60 as the amount after tax. I hope you understand, right? So which method do you prefer? Writing 13 over 100 or 0.13? Use your method here and find the answer, right? So what would be 8.5 divided by 100? So that is tricky, right? Try it and let me know if you got the same as I am writing here. If you do it, you'll get 0 0.085, not 8.5. That is a mistake many times students may do, right? Times 1200, oh, oh it is 1500, not 12. So 1500 is equal to Let's use the calculator. 0 0.085 times 1500. What do you get? 127.50. 127.50. So that is the tax in dollars, right? So let me write this also in dollars. And the amount you pay is plus 1500, which includes the tax is 1627.50. So 1627.50. So that is what you pay on an item which is costing $1,500 and the tax rate on that item is 8.5%. I hope you understand how to find tax on the item and then how to find the total amount. 
which is due for payment, right? Thank you.